What's going on, homie dudes? It's Cremated Brownies. Welcome to another unboxing review. Today's review will be on these zebra-looking guns. I honestly have no idea what they're called. I believe that they are called sharpshooter disc guns, but um, I have no clue. Whatever. Let's get into the review. Here we go. So the sharpshooter guns or whatever, I think I'll just call these zebra guns because this one looks like a zebra that is still alive, and this one looks like a zebra that got mauled by a tiger just because of the colors. Whatever. But uh, these are the same blaster, so I will just be going over one, and I will be doing the red one because red one is cooler and the red one is more like my colors. But um, yeah, let's go over this. So it does come in multiple different vari various packs. There are some packs where you can buy this blaster uh, itself, and uh, there are some blasters where you can buy it in the two-pack, which is what I believe the person that I got these off of KSL from. I got these in my first bundle. So uh, these are some of my oldest blasters in the Nerf Arsenal, which is still growing. We've got a handful of new blasters, and I uh, can't wait to show those off. But um, yeah, whatever. Continuing on, uh, this is not a Nerf brand blaster, so it does not have a front barrel attachment. This is just like the... Um, the new Vortex, or the old Vortex guns, where it shoots these little disc-type things. Only the Nerf Vortex uh, is about two of these thick, and this is only half of that thickness, and it just barely fits in through. So this is not compatible with uh, Nerf Vortex ammo. But, um, yeah, no front barrel attachment, because I don't think Nerf Vortex or anybody has a front barrel attachment. So, I mean... There's not even a front barrel attachment point. I mean, you can find a way to integrate one onto this, but it would honestly be a really big waste because this gun is overall sucky and trash. Uh, no stock back because this is, again, a pistol gun. Uh, this isn't a gun that you are made to kind of shoulder and try and get stable to fire. Um, this is a gravity-fed loader. Uh, this is kind of the hopper magazine system right here. You, to open it, like I just did, you just pop open the top cap, and then you get your discs, and you just slide them on down, like so. And this can fit up to 10 at a time, um, and it's just standard discs, and you just pull the trigger, and you shoot them. No priming necessary. That kind of swung right by the camera. And this is a perfect example. I've, I just tried to shake it down, but it's not working. There we go. If you may have you may have seen it, you may have not. There was a little bit of red, and that was the dart. This is a spring powered blaster, but there is no need to prime it. Um, it is very jerkish, and it moves around a lot. So every time that you pull the trigger, uh, the ammo in here that you are using it likes to jump around, and it likes to do all that funky stuff. So, um, yeah, I need a lot more to show it, but I'll show it in the firing demo, which we will get right to. Um, but this blaster, you might not be able to see it because it's all black and my camera is trash because it's a low-grade camera, but there is a little lever in here, and whenever you pull the trigger about halfway-ish, it goes all the way back, and then you pull it completely, and then it springs back forward because there is a spring lock in here, and when it gets to a certain point, that spring re releases, and it knocks into one of these, pew, and it fires it away. Each blaster, like I may have said before, it comes with 10 of these little discs. Obviously, the dual pack will come with 20 instead of 10. But um, the discs correspond with the colors on the blaster, like this one is red, so it has red discs to correspond with the red themed blaster. And then you saw me fire out a white one, which was a white disc to go along with the white themed blaster. No, but, um, yeah, whatever. Um, it's an okay-ish gun. I mean, it's impossible to holster this gun because it's so wide, and it's just so long, it's so tall, it's just very funky dimensions. Um, but the grip is a decently okay-ish grip. Um, easy to fit your finger, but with people for, people like me that have larger hands, it's a little bit harder to hold the gun because the grip is made for someone with like smaller fingers or somebody without a pinky. If you don't have a pinky, I'm sorry, your pinky is kind of left wandering. Like, I mean, you can tuck it inside like that, which is really weird, but you can kind of just grab the bottom of the blaster here or the top, or you can just crunch all three of your hands together. It is a very small grip for somebody with large hands, but somebody with smaller hands, 
This will be a little bit tricky of a blaster to use because the trigger is so far forward. Um, but yeah, if you have five foot fingers and a teeny tiny hand, then this gun is probably perfect for you. Obviously, that is an exaggeration, but um, yeah. Only shoots these, does not shoot Nerf Vortex. Um, but yeah, let's take it out onto the firing range. Here we go. Firing the red sharpshooter with ammo. I just grabbed a handful of ammo and I have some red and some white. But here we go, let's fire. Really bad. These are built for really, really close range combat. I'm gonna do some some dual wielding, but... Uh, the reason why they are curving is because the little lever in here, uh, it's got a little bit of a slant on it, so it puts a curve on it, and that's why they're all curving to the right, but... Dual wielding, here we go. Let's dual wield these two trashy shooters, but I just kind of divided the ammo of what I have left. Uh, about 12 to 13 ammo, whatever. I just divided it, but here we go. Dual wielding. My point exactly. It jammed and it spliced. Uh, I will mention this. It does jam a lot, but yeah. Um, jams a lot. Sometimes they don't like to go through, but... Let's finish the dual wield now, single shot, but whatever. Oh my gosh, my point exactly. These guns suck. I don't know why, but my red one likes to jam a lot, but my white one is good. Oh my gosh, I can't even spin. Okay, here we go. Oh my gosh. Mission accomplished. I hate these guns. I don't care about them. You suck! Oh, flip. Oh, wait, no, that just pops back on. Oh, well, I don't care. Let's go back. Here we go. Before we go back to the review, just wanted to let you know the white one is fine. This does clip back into place. Although it is a little bit tricky to get it into place. But you can... Fix it if this does happen. I am just not good at it. If I can do this correctly. This is like one of those pinch lock systems. Yep, look, there, perfectly fine. Fixed it. But whatever, officially going back to the review and opinions. Here we go. So that was me firing the um, Accu shot or sharpshooter shot or whatever the heck these are called. I don't even know. I shot red and the white, um, kind of did a little bit of some dual wielding. Uh, I forgot to mention, but you may have heard it in the firing demo and just barely. These are a very loud spring blaster. But if you're trying to go stealth mode with this and you're trying to snipe a bunch of guys with actual nerf guns, then you're going to get your butt whooped because with one trigger pull, that may be one decent shot, but then... Uh, as you may have seen in the firing demo, uh, this did happen a handful of times. You pull the trigger, and it totally just jars everything, and it just jumps it everywhere, so it's almost impossible to get more than three shots in a row. Just, just like, going, like, full crazy. I don't even know. But, um, yeah, decently okay blaster. Like the Nerf Vortex, these discs tend to, tend to sail, and, um... Slightest bit of wind. I bet that if there was somebody in the hallway that I shoot down that was blowing and this went by, it would probably just go <laughs> and then it'd just fly anywhere. These are a lot worse than the Nerf Vortex because, because the Nerf Vortex, they are thicker, larger. They do have foam on the outside, but they have the plastic stuff in the middle, which gives them a little bit of weight, which gives them a little bit more, uh, I guess you could say, area to go through and to actually move, but... Not by much. Um, uh, each blaster by itself, I believe, retailed for around fifteen U.S. dollars. But for the pack, I believe you can get it for twenty-five uh, dollars on Amazon. Uh, these are kind of a collectible because they did kind of go out of style and out of stock. I believe that that concludes the overview. Um, 
I don't think that I said how fast they shot. They shot out at an average. What I got on my chronograph was 43 feet per second, which is really low. It's not that far away from the Nerf Vortex 65 FPS, um, but it's still pretty dang far. It's very, This is a very, very weak blaster. Um, you do not have to load it from the top. You can load it down here, but it's a little bit harder. But, yeah, my point exactly. It doesn't even... Oh, hey, I'm right over the camera. But, yeah. Um, I would not recommend these blasters because they are stupid. They are trashy. The ammo is not universal for all nerfers. Uh, even if you have a couple guys with Vortex, they could probably actually pick up your ammo and fire two at a time. Uh, overall opinion, very sucky guns. Don't get them. They suck. They suck. I believe that that is the overview. Now let's go into the outro. Here we go. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked what you saw, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment down below what you want to see next, share with your friends, and get the bell on. Um, we have some news for the Nerf Inquisitor, which is the gun that I am making. It is the Hailstorm or Hailfire, whatever you want to call it, mixed with the Retaliator combo. And um, I'm going to show you guys that right now. Retaliator, stock, back, or whatever you want to call this. I totally destroyed this blaster. Um, I totally just diced off the back, and you can see down the whole thing. And I destroyed the front so that this would fit on, um, but I cut it a bit off. Right, I will be using some of Worker's stuff. If you don't know what Worker is, uh, go ahead and check them out. M uh, NF Strike, sorry, they do a bunch of nerf mods and stuff. Quick little sneak peek of the um, Inquisitor, my own blaster that I am making. No modifications. Uh, I have ever seen done to both of those blasters online. I have never seen an electrical retaliator. If you do find one, make sure to get the link and put it down in the comments and I will check it out and I will try to do something similar. But there is honestly nothing else to say. The next review will be on the Modulus Ion Fire, I believe. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked what you saw, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment down below what you want to see next. Share with your friends. Get the bell on and we'll see you all next time. Woo! Goodbye!